Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am thrifting at a store that's a little further away. I don't come here that much. If you're from the area, it's off of 1960 and Kirkendall. It's called Texas Thrift and I would say it's worth it. Um, their prices are decent as you will see. Today, the blue and yellow tags are on sale. I don't think I got anything on sale though, but stay tuned till the end. I did get a lot of really good stuff that I like a lot. So I'm noticing as I'm editing this right now that the tags seem a lot closer when I'm looking in the camera than they do when I'm editing. So if the prices are hard to see because it's too far away, um, I'm sorry I didn't realize that. I think I've gotten better at Goodwill, but I think I was just really excited because there was a lot of people. I went late in the evening and there was a lot of people here so I was kind of rushing. Okay, let me just tell you a little story about this little pair that I'm about to show you. For some reason, I fell in love with this little wicker pear basket. I don't know why, I've never even owned anything with a pear on it. But it was just one of those pieces that when I looked at it, I immediately saw it styled in my home and I could just picture the vision, okay? I could see the vision and I was so excited. Um, it was my favorite thing in my cart and when I went to check out, they wouldn't let me purchase it because it didn't have a tag on it and she told me if it's not priced, I have to come back the next day and see if it's out on the shelves or get it the next day. That really made me very sad because like I said, this store is further away and I just feel like that's ridiculous because I've purchased things multiple times here that didn't have a tag and they've just rang it up for 99 cents. So I guess it just depends on the person working, but I did go back the next day. I didn't want to, but I did because that's how much I really wanted this pair and it was nowhere to be found, but I did go back and get that little teapot and another thing that you'll see in the haul.
Can someone please let me know what in the world this thing is? Maybe it's just a toy or a decoration, but it didn't make sense. I was trying really hard to show these pendant lights with one hand and while filming with the other. There was three attached in this bundle and they only wanted $20. I actually spent a lot of time in the book section. I think I looked at almost every single one. Well, that caught my eye. They just had a ton of these Reader's Digest books. I didn't see any that had like a pattern or color that I liked. And then they also had a ton of those old Nancy Drew books. But the haul is coming up right after this. So don't go anywhere yet because like I said, I really love the items that I found. I think they're so cute. Okay, so here are the items that I purchased today. Sorry if there's an echo in here. I have all of my decor off the shelves. 
so hopefully it's not too terrible but I don't think anyone cares about this but I got this little purse because I was needing one in this color like a tannish brown color like this and I like crossbody bags for when I go shopping and stuff so this one was I think like $4.98 yeah and it was also 30% off but it's just a regular little purse just I think it says nine west yeah nothing special I just thought it was cute and cheap so got that and then I got this really beautiful big scarf I was wanting to find one um, really in like a fall plaid color palette but this color here was so pretty that I went ahead and grabbed it I want to put it in the entryway on those peg shelves or pe that peg rack that I have so um, that's where this is gonna go and then of course I can wear it if I want it was $2.98 and it's just this gorgeous like brownish rust color. It has some fringe at the bottom. I just think it's so pretty. So there's that. I did get the pig cutting board. I don't decorate with pigs, but um, I thought I would pick it up and try to resell it either on Facebook Marketplace or my eBay shop. It was $2.98 and he's just really cute. I don't know why I'm not into the farm animal thing. I do like sheep and um, horses and stuff just not pigs and cows and chickens <laughs> but yeah so there's that one this little wooden spoon ended up being free because um, they said it was part of a five piece set that had been purchased and they couldn't ring it up so they just gave it to me for free and then I also got these really pretty um, just napkins these were a dollar ninety eight for all three of them and I love when napkins have these like really pretty details in the corner hopefully this is focusing but I just loved that and I'm gonna add them to my linen collection or just add them um, to like a plate stack or something to add texture I love doing that and then I got some books so I got this one I do have a small but growing collection of vintage Bibles or just any you know Bible type books so I liked this one that it was black with the gold letters. I thought that was really pretty. It was 99 cents. And let's see if we can find a copyright date. 1961. And then I found this little kind of pamphlet here. It says manual for teachers. And I was assuming it was just for like actual school teachers, but it has Bible references and stuff in it. So um, I don't know, maybe they taught about this in the 60s. Oh, this is 1955, it says it there. So I'm not really sure where this was used, but I like the neutral color palette of it, and I think these are just fun to add to vignettes. And then the last book is this really pretty one here. I thought it was gonna be perfect for the fall season, which we are in right now. This one was $1.98, I'm not really sure why. It says The Conscience of Israel. So, ironically, all of the books I grabbed are Biblical or Bible themed or about Jesus and stuff. This one says 1961 as well. And then I loved the way all of these just looked together. I'll try to insert a clip of all my finds right after this so you can see how well the color palette goes. Okay, and then as I mentioned in the video or the voiceover, I did go back the next day and search for the pair, which was not there, but I did pick up two other things that I left behind. Um, First one being this adorable little teapot. I mainly just really loved this, I guess this is wicker, this little handle here. I thought it was so pretty. And I actually feel like I follow someone on YouTube that has this and they've like decorated with it. I just can't remember who. But I think it's so pretty and I'm gonna try to style it for the fall here in the kitchen. And this was actually $5.98, which is why I left it behind the first day because I didn't wanna pay $6, but it's something that I was still thinking about, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. And then the last thing was this cute little piece. I don't even know what this is for, but um, I liked it. I wish the handle was a little less orange. I'm not sure if I can do anything about that. But this is going to look cute with like a little pumpkin and a doily in it or something. Super excited to figure out what I can do with this. It says Wind and Willow on the bottom. And it was $3.98. Kind of high, but I guess it's because it has all this here. But And then here's a little overview of everything. Like I said, I just really loved the color palettes. And I'm surprised I, you know, left there with all these things that just look so well together. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's Thirst With Me video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!